Hello, and welcome to another edition of Inventor's Quick Tips. Today we are discussing the topic of provisional applications, and more particularly, how to find provisional patent applications that other people have filed. So first, let's go over some basic facts. A provisional patent application establishes a filing date with reduced costs and reduced requirements as compared with filing a regular application. This lets inventors get a patent pending status at a reduced cost and gives them some time to refine the invention while still establishing a filing date for the concept. The provisional patent application is in effect for one year and then it expires. Before it expires, the inventor can file what's called a regular utility patent application that can have an effective filing date of the previously filed provisional patent application. Now, if the inventor decides not to file a regular patent application, then that provisional patent application becomes abandoned and is never made available to the public. But if a regular patent application is filed and referenced to that provisional patent application, and that regular application eventually does get published, which typically happens uh, within 18 months, then the provisional application will be available to the public. So let's see a situation where you might want to get access to someone else's provisional patent application and then how you go about obtaining it. First, let's illustrate why you would want to do this with a basic example. We'll start with a timeline. In this example, another inventor files a provisional patent application in January of 2021. You come along and file a regular patent application for something that is pretty similar in May of 2021. Then the other inventor files a regular patent application for this invention in July of 2021, which is of course after you filed your regular patent application. But of course, the other inventor's regular application links back to the provisional application of January 2021, which predates your patent application. Thus, while the inventor's regular application of July 2021 can't be directly used to reject your patent application of May 2021, the provisional patent application from January of that year could be used as a basis for a rejection of your application of May 2021 since it predates your application. Now an important thing to remember is that a provisional patent application is not always equivalent to the regular patent application that connects with it. A provisional patent application is only as good as its contents, which raises the question, how thorough is this provisional patent application? Is it scribble on a cocktail napkin? Then it might not support the rejections. You might have a chance to overcome that rejection. The provisional application could be quite thorough. It varies and all depends on the circumstances and who filed that application. Even if the provisional patent application is thorough, it may not be identical and could be missing an important detail that may allow the rejection to be overcome. So, how can we see for ourselves what this provisional patent application contains? To find the provisional patent application, we are going to use USPTO PAIR, which is a website. I have previously done an intro video on PAIR, and I will put a link to that video in the description. So on the U.S. Patent Office website, we look up the regular application of interest, and here I just picked a random application. Again, this is all public record. If we click this continuity data tab on the regular patent application, it leads us to a page with the provisional patent application. Note that there can be more than one provisional or non-provisional application in the continuity data tab, but for this example, I found one that was the simple case as we had illustrated in the timeline. You can see it is a provisional patent application, and if you click this tab, you can view and retrieve as a PDF file the provisional patent application that was used as the basis of the rejection. So what are some takeaways or lessons we can learn? If a provisional application is relied upon to issue a rejection, use the USPTO pair system to access and carefully review the provisional application. Once you access it, read it carefully, confirm if it really shows the details that were used to apply the rejection. It may not be equal 
to the regular application. Note that I have a video on provisional patent applications and one specifically on the pitfalls of a provisional patent application that doesn't contain all the important details. And I will put links to those videos in the description. So hopefully you found this helpful. If so, please like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.